When calculating the relative risk reduction, we need to know four values. The number of people who receive therapy A and develop the condition. The total number of people who receive therapy A. The number of people who receive therapy B and develop the condition. And the total number of people who receive therapy B. When we have the necessary values, we can calculate the relative risk reduction by subtracting 1 by the relative risk which is the incidence of the condition in those who receive therapy A, A over A plus B, divided by the incidence of the condition in those who receive therapy B, C over C plus D. Now let's try a quick example. Let's say that in a clinical trial involving 700 people, 400 receive therapy A and 300 receive therapy B. By the end of the trial, 30 people who receive therapy A develop the condition of interest, while 60 people who receive therapy B also develop the condition. The incidence of the condition in those who received therapy A was 30 over 400, which is 7.5%, whereas the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy B was 60 over 300, which is 20%. By dividing the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy A by the incidence of the condition in those who received therapy B, we find that the relative risk is 37.5%. Now to calculate the relative risk reduction, we need to subtract this value from 1. In doing so, we find that the relative risk reduction is 62.5%.